Hello and welcome everybody to a new series on the channel. It's the Madden 22 franchise rebuild. Similar to that of the 2K rebuild, except for football. And uh, today we are going to be taking over the New York Jets. And we have replaced Robert Saleh. We are going to be Max Strong, uh, who is a character from my uh, Las Vegas Venom franchise from my 2K21 series. But uh, it's time that we take over the uh, reins in New York because the Jets have been a franchise that has been in the gutter for uh, about a decade now. Their only winning season since uh, 2010 was in 2015 where they went 10-6. and six. But it was more like a fluke year because they have not been above 500 uh, other than that year in the past 11 seasons, uh, including this one. So it's time to turn this franchise around. And uh, today the game plan is to look at our team, look at the roster, the salaries, uh, the possible free agents, and then jump into a game against the Patriots for, for week seven. And then sim the rest of the season, look at the overall season stats and call it a day. Next episode will be our first off season. And um, so how I, I've set this league up is that I started at the very beginning of the year, um, but I started with the current active Madden roster and I set every game to what happened in real life. So the records as of week seven are all accurate, but the stats are not. So uh, we are one and four, the Pats are two and four, uh, the Cowboys are five and one. All the other teams are the exact record that, that they are in real life uh, as of the end of week six, start of week seven. But uh, here is what our offense looks like. Um, at quarterback, obviously, you have Zach Wilson, who has been uh, less than stellar, uh, to say the least, d uh, during his rookie season so far. Um, he really has not shown anything. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you got Michael Carter at running back out of UNC. He's a rookie. You've got Carlton Davis as your new number one wide receiver. You have Jamison Crowder. Obviously, you have Keelan Cole. Then you have rookie wide receiver Elijah Moore, who could be pretty promising. Um, at tight end, you have Tyler Croft and Ryan Griffin. Uh, at right tackle, George Fant, uh, a veteran right tackle. You've got... Uh, You've got Greg Van Roten, I believe is his name. Yes, Greg Van Roten, veteran right guard, uh, center uh, Dan Feeney, left guard Elijah Vera Tucker, rookie left guard Hidden Dev. He's been really promising so far. Akai Becton, a beast at left tackle, has had his injury problems, but has still been really good. And that's your basic look at the offense, the right side of that offensive line. Uh, your, your right side of the, of the offensive line, tight end, and maybe quarterback are what need the most work on the offense uh, on that side of things. On defense, you've got on your, your defensive line, John Franklin Myers is a very promising young left end. You've got Quentin Williams, a really good defensive tackle. You've got uh, Fado Casey, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, then please correct me, uh, as another pretty solid defensive tackle. You've got Shaq Lawson, who uh, has been... Uh, not, not special by, by any means. He's been okay uh, throughout his career at right end. You've got Bryce Hall as your number one corner, backed up by Javelin Guidry or Guidry, uh, second year corner. You also have Michael Carter the second out of Duke as your third corner on the roster. At free safety, you have second year player Ashton Davis. Uh, at strong safety, you have Marcus May, who is on that franchise tag and uh, is on that one year offer. You got Blake Cashman at right outside linebacker. You've got Sherwood at middle linebacker and you have CJ Mosley at left outside linebacker. So linebacker needs work. Uh, your secondary needs a lot of work. Uh, defensive line is uh, I would say above average, but still, uh, still not good. Special teams, you've got Thomas Morstead at punter. 35-year-old player, he's probably going to be retiring soon. At kicker, you have Matt Amendola, uh, who's a rookie out of Oklahoma State. 
uh, accuracy is not there, power is there, but kicking and special teams is not a strong suit. Team salaries. Right now, CJ Mosley has the biggest contract out of any player on the roster. Uh, on a five-year deal with four years left, uh, $75 million in total. Uh, John Franklin Myers on a five-year deal right now, $56 million. That is a rookie deal, I believe. Um, Carl Lawson at right now. I, I believe he's hurt right now, but uh, Carl Lawson, $45 million, three years left on that new deal. Corey Davis on that new three-year deal, uh, a, a little over uh, 10, 11 million dollars per year uh, overall. Zach Wilson, of course, on his rookie four-year deal, not including that fifth-year option. Uh, Quinn and Williams still on his rookie deal. George Fantz, who is uh, not a good right tackle, is on a pretty hefty deal. So we'll probably look to be moving him at some points very soon before the trade deadline. We've got Connor McGovern, not the right guard of the Cowboys. It's a different Connor McGovern, center of the Jets. Uh, he's on a uh, a pretty good deal for his standards, but he's also hurt right now. Jameson Crowder has one year left on his deal. Makai Becton on his rookie deal, as is Elijah Vera Tucker. Uh, the Jets have a lot of cap space, 50, $56 million in cap space right now. So a lot of room to work with here. And uh, let's go check out uh, what players could be leaving this season. So here are the players that are on the last year of their deals. Marcus May, of course, on that franchise tag. He wants a pretty big deal. Uh, we will probably give this deal to him. He probably wants more in real life, but <laughs> probably going to give this kind of deal to him. We'll see. Jameson Crowder, not sure what I, I want to do with him yet. Uh, but Casey, probably going to bring him back. Most likely, he wants a three-year deal. Marcus Joyner, probably not going to bring him back. Uh, Keelan Cole wants a three-year deal. Thomas Morstead wants a one-year deal. A punter, Vinny Curry, also there. Tevin Coleman, Morgan Moses, another aging right tackle. Uh, Braxton Berrios wants a three-year deal. Tyler Croft, Gerard Davis, Jalvin Guidry, Nathan Shepard, Ryan Griffin, Dan Feeney. A lot of uh, a lot of these guys are uh, getting towards the older side of their of their careers. But uh, we'll see how we deal with these contracts later on. So the reason why I started this franchise at the beginning of the year and then uh, manufactured the uh, the schedule outcomes to what's in real life is because I wanted to do uh, I wanted to get my own handle on the scouting because it's a new scouting system for Madden and uh, I wanted to set up our scouts in the best possible way for myself and for our team. So here's your top 10 prospects. We're going to look at these guys more in depth next episode because scouting is more of like a, like an offhand background kind of thing uh, nowadays. So here's your top 10 prospects. Lorenzo Moles, right in out of Colorado. He's your top prospect. Mike Carpenter, quarterback out of Florida. Uh, Garrison Harvey, left and out of Ole Miss. Nathan Hall, left and out of Notre Dame. Uh, Najee Tatum, right tackle out of Georgia. Preston Costanzo, right guard out of Tennessee. Dalton Mills, left guard out of Washington State. Jeremiah Barber, left end out of UNC. Uh, Dontrell Bishop, left guard out of Missouri. And Deontay Shepard, middle linebacker out of Florida. That's your, ten, that's your top 10 prospects. But here's your region breakdown. Uh, I have already hired the scouts that I want. We have Darrell Rivas as our tier three scout because you can have a tier three, a tier two, and two or three tier one scouts. Uh, so we have Darrell Rivas as our top scout. He's scouting corner because if you look at the bottom right, uh, nationally, the top strengths of the class are left and wide receiver and cornerback. So I want Rivas to scout corners because that's one of the weakest spots of the entire team. Um, in the Western region, we have John Sanders, who is currently scouting left guards because we could definitely move a left guard to a right guard position and uh, patch up that offensive line on the right side. Um, in the Central region, we have Hayden Archer scouting running backs. Even though Michael Carter, Michael Carter out of UNC has been uh, has been uh, solid so far, but we could still possibly improve um, down there in the backfield. Uh, northeast, we have Zach Strickland, uh, our tier one scout, uh, looking at right defensive ends um, because it's one of the top strengths 
So we'll have a lot of knowledge on, on the defensive end side of things, but that's not a priority right now. Then in the Southeast region, we have Ray Garrison also looking at corners because it is a strength. So we're gonna have a lot of knowledge of corners for this upcoming draft, which is probably one of my top priorities other than offensive line. Here we are, everybody, in Gillette Stadium taking on the New England Patriots, one of our division rivals here in Week 7. Uh, we are going to be rocking 11-minute uh, quarters because that is uh, the best to get uh, accurate stats compared to real life overall and the amount of plays run. We're going to face rookie quarterback Mac Jones, who uh, we don't know how he's been in Madden uh, this season, but he's been, uh, he's been uh, okay in real life. And uh, we're in a hostile environment. And we are sticking with uh, the Robert Saleh playbooks for both sides of the ball. Uh, but uh, I can make my own custom playbook. So let me know what you guys want to see. I could make my own custom playbook uh, tailored to our players and our play style. But uh, let's get started here, guys, against the Patriots in Gillette Stadium. Here is the kickoff for week seven, our first ever action with the Jets this season. And the Pats will start with the ball as this return is taken out up to the 21 yard line. Matt Jones this year, six touchdowns, eight interceptions, 1,200 yards. Uh, that's pretty comparable to real life. First and 10, it's a handoff here. And James White takes it up for a gain of three yards. Second and seven now at the 24. James White again on the carry. He is just shy of the first down on that seven yard run. Third and inches right now. Mac Jones will go shotgun formation here. And that pass is caught for a first down for New England. That is Hunter Henry. Matt Jones hands off again. James White, his third carry goes for a gain of one. Matt Jones again handing off here. And that run is stuffed. James White going nowhere. Only a two yard pickup that brings up third and long. Seven yards to go. That was Quentin Williams on that tackle right there. Matt Jones drops back to pass. This one is caught for first and again. It's Hunter Henry up across the 45 in Jets territory. From the 45, Mac Jones pump fakes and then hands off the late handoff for James White. That goes for a gain of five. From the 40, can our defense get a stop? Mac Jones, left side, and he's gonna find a first down, a gain of seven yards. And that was Jacoby Myers on his first catch of the game. Mac Jones back to pass on first and 10. To the right side, it's caught. First down, that is Nelson Aguilar, I believe, on that catch and go. That's a 12-yard pickup. Mac Jones again, first and 10, drops back to pass. No pressure right now on Mac Jones, and Hunter, Hunter Henry has his third catch of the game. That goes for nine yards. Second and short from the 12. And off, James White has a first down inside the 10 at the eight-yard line. A really methodical drive here by the Patriots. The Jets defense has had pretty much no highlights so far in this first drive. Mac Jones goes for the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown. The Patriots strike first. Hunter Henry with his fourth or fifth catch of the drive, and the Pats go up by six. At the 25, our first action here with Zach Wilson after a 12-play, 80-yard drive by the Patriots that took off about half the quarter. Michael Carter on the first play for the offense gets a four-yard pickup. Second and six, Wilson back to pass. He is pressured, and that pass is incomplete. 
Not sure who he was looking at, but pressure got in his face. He needed to get that ball away. That brings up third and six from the 29-yard line. Wilson back to pass again over the middle. It's caught for a first down, but it's a fumble. We pick it up. That's going to be short of the first down. Jamison Crowder lost the ball right after making a first down catch, and we end up having to punt. A three and out, an unfortunate one right there, and that's probably a preview for the rest of the season. All right, we're going to sim a drive here for the Patriots as Aguilar gets a first down, but then Bryce Hall intercepts Mac Jones and gets us seven yards shy of the red zone. Let's jump in here and see what we can do. First and 10 after a big turnover forced by Bryce Hall with about three to go here in this first quarter. Zach Wilson on play action. He goes right side. That pass is caught wide open. That's Corey Davis. He gets down to the one. 27 yards, and we have first and goal. What do we do here? I formation for New York. Zach Wilson back to pass, though. He's got pressure coming, and he's sacked. A 14-yard loss on first and goal. Second and goal now at the 15. Can we bounce back from that sack? Wilson hands off. That is going to go for about no gain, maybe a gain of a couple for Michael Carter. Third and goal now from the 13-yard line. Wilson back to pass. Wilson looks for the end zone left side, and it's overthrown out of bounds. And the Jets have to settle for a field goal, and Mandola will take it. And this one is up and in. Three to seven. Going to sim some more here. Patriots have the ball back. James White getting a couple of carries, but a quick three and out forced by the Jets defense. Now on the offense, starting at the 46-yard line. Great field position here. Michael Carter gets us to the 50. Pass thrown away, and then Zach Wilson is picked off by Kyle Van Noy. And the Patriots will go to work here. Let's sim a little bit more. Penalty by Franklin Myers. Pats backed up by another sack. Then another penalty and another one. Some undisciplined play here by the Jets. And then Jet Mac Jones picked off again this time by Jamie and Sherwood. And we have ourselves with uh, the... Uh, we have the ball at the 24-yard line. We'll send one more drive here. The Jets, eight-yard rush by Zach Wilson. Then a first down to, wait, what was that? Was that Morgan Moses, the right tackle? I, I got to get a third tight end here. This is whack. Uh, Tyler Croft, five yards. Third and one, and it's incomplete. We should go for this. Fourth and one, but instead we punt. Patriots with the ball. A turnover heavy game here for both teams. Mac Jones back to pass, goes deep, right field, right side of the field, it's caught, wide open, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Patriots. Kendrick Bourne on a huge 76-yard touchdown, or 80-yard touchdown, Mac Jones in the first play. And he was wide open, and a great pass by Mac Jones, about 60 yards of air distance. Bryce Hall got burned. And the Patriots will go up. 14 to three. After that one play drive, can the Jets answer? Zach Wilson on first and 10 over the middle. That pass is somehow caught for a first down by Tyler Croft. First and 10, Wilson hands off. That's Michael Carter on the carry, but he does not get much. Shotgun formation here for Zach Wilson. Second down and eight. We'll look to pass. Zach Wilson goes deep left. That pass goes out of bounds. 
Wilson just 5 for 12 with an interception so far this game. And we have third and long. Wilson will dump off to, I believe that's Tevin Coleman maybe, but that does not get us anywhere. It's fourth and one. And we are going to punt. All right, we'll sim here until we get to the, to the third quarter here. Patriots with the ball trying to increase their lead. Third and one, they got the first down of a Mac Jones rush. Just shy of midfield, Quentin Williams gets a sack on Mac Jones, and the Patriots have to punt. It's a great punt by Jake Bailey down to the one. First and ten, Michael Carter, six-yard gain. Loss of two, brings up third and six, and we go three and out again. Patriots back with the ball. They have not done much here on offense. John Flint, Franklin Myers with a big sack, and they go three and out. Two-minute drill here for Zach Wilson as he's sacked by Matthew Judon. Third and 20, and we run the ball. Patriots, what will they do here? They'll try and get across midfield, but nothing doing on offense for them. Third and 10, they run it, and that will pretty much end the first half. Here we go. Jets start with the ball in the third quarter. The offense has been terrible so far against this stout Patriots defense as this run for Michael Carter goes for a good gain of seven. Wilson back to pass on second and short. Over the middle, it's incomplete. Trying to find Jamison Crowder. That brings up third and short. Wilson hands off. Carter on the carry. That's not Carter, it's Tevin Coleman. And he was a yard short. And the Jets will punt. First and 10 for Mac Jones and the Patriots. As our defense have, has given them plenty of opportunities here. Mac Jones, outside the numbers, goes for Myers. For, I believe that was an incomplete pass. Second and 10. Mac Jones, a screen pass here to James White. He's got some space and gets a gain of about eight yards. Which brings up uh, third down and two. Mac Jones, hands off. White's. Outside gets a nice little stiff arm and he has a first down. Nice run of 10 yards. First and 10. Mac Jones play action on first down. Mac Jones has time, goes left side outside the numbers, caught. But Henry slips out of bounds right after making that catch. But the Jets will challenge. I think Henry might have had a foot out of bounds in that catch. And not a good angle there. And Greg Van Roten is blocking the feet there. I think he was out though. The call is overturned, so second and ten. Mac Jones, second and long, left side, wide open. Who is that? That's Jacoby Myers for a first down up to the Jets 42. First and 10, Mac Jones, a little dump off pass for Hunter Henry. That goes for a gain of eight yards. Second and two. Mac Jones will do a little read option here. Mac Jones on the keeper. He gets a gain of about 12, 12 to 14 yards of running right there from Mac Jones. We don't see that very often. First and 10, two yards shy of the red zone. Mac Jones facing pressure, gets the ball away, and that's out of bounds. Second and 10, Jones back to pass. He dumps off to James White, and he's tackled after a very minimal game right there. That brings up third and nine. Jones out to the numbers, goes right side wide open is James White for a first down. Got up all the way to the five. That brings up first and goal for the Patriots. This Jets defense 
lacking in their pass coverage right now. From the five, Jones hands off. James White has a wide open hole, and he's in for the touchdown. Patriots score their third touchdown of the game, their first of this second half to go up 20 to three, PAT pending. So the Patriots lead 21 to three. We'll send to the fourth quarter now. Just want to get a brief look at our team because this game in all honesty does not matter that much. Nice running here by Michael Carter. Gets us across midfield. Zach Wilson on the keeper gets a first down. Michael Carter again. Some nice carries. Tevin Coleman getting in here on the action, but then he is stuffed. Michael Carter is stuffed. Fourth and three from the 28. The Jets settle for a 45 yard Matt Amendola field goal. Pats with the ball now up by 15. Third and three, first down to Kendrick Bourne. Pats now across midfield in Jets territory. James White, seven yard gain. Penalty now on James White, backs him up by 10. Second and 14, gain of four. Third and long, Aguilar has nine and he has the first down. And the red zone now, a sack by Quentin Williams, his second or third. Fourth and nine and the Patriots settle for a field goal, 24 to six. We'll watch one more drive here before us before ending this game. Seven to go here at Gillette. Jets have the ball at the 25. His screen pass goes nowhere. Zach Wilson to six for 16, about 70 yards passing. We have been atrocious on offense. Wilson back to pass on second and 10. He's got time and he is almost picked off by Hightower. That was insane. <laughs> It's so lucky that he dropped that because that should have been an interception. Third and 10. This pass is caught by Croft for a short gain. Fourth and two. And uh, we will stay on the field to go for it. Mac Jones, right side or left side, caught for a first down. First and 10. After that five yard Keelan Cole reception. Mac Wilson drops back to pass. Left side, that one is incomplete. Trying to go for Croft. Wilson, this pass is caught by Corey Davis for a nice gain of about nine yards. Third and one, Wilson will again pass. This one caught. And that was Jameson Crowder for the first down. His second catch of the game. Across midfield now, Jets trying to put some kind of points on the board here. Wilson, left side, caught by Croft across the 35. At the 34, first and 10 for the Jets. Four minutes to go, we're really taking our time here on this drive. That pass is incomplete. Second and 10, and Wilson again dropping back to pass. He faces pressure, gets the pass off, it's caught. And Davis lost the pass. He lost the ball after making a nice grab for a first down. There is a flag on the play. And it's going to be roughing the passer against the Patriots. And that will be a automatic first down for us. Up to the 19. That was Barmore on the penalty. Wilson, a little jet sweep here for Crowder. That goes for one yard. Wilson back to pass, second and nine. He's got pressure and he goes down back at the 31. A huge sack by Guy. And that brings up third and 23. Zach Wilson back to pass, third and very long. Pressure again, he gets the pass off and it's incomplete. I believe he was trying to find Jameson Crowder. That brings up fourth and 23. <laughs> With under three to go, we have to go for it, obviously. Wilson has pressure, and he's sacked again. And that is Phillips on the sack. Patriots take over. This game was well over before this drive, but that makes it an easy win for the Patriots.
So the Patriots win 24 to 6. The offense was nowhere to be found. Less than 100 yards on both rushing and passing for us. The Patriots had a solid game uh, in both regards for passing and rushing, but the, the Jets offense was nowhere to be found. Um, we had one turnover, they had two. They converted eight third downs, we had three, but I mean, we were terrible. Player stats, passing Mac Jones, 264, two touchdowns, two picks. Zach Wilson, 130 in the year, zero, zero touchdowns, one INT, but sacked four times. Uh, rushing on the ground, James White, 94 yards, 4.1 per carry, one touchdown. Michael Carter, 72 yards, 4.2 per carry. And uh, we were just terrible. Receiving Kendrick Bourne, 92 yards and a touchdown, and that big 80 yard touchdown uh, really bolsters his stat. Tyler Croft led our team in receiving at 56 yards. Um, blocking, who, who gave up our sacks? We had two, two given, up, given up by Dan Feeney, one by George Fant. Can't tell the other one, but defense, who got sacks for us? Two sacks for Quentin Williams and two for John Franklin Myers. Again, I said our defensive line is not that much of a problem in terms of pass rushing. But now we will sim uh, the rest of the regular season. And then at the end of that, we'll look at our team stats. And uh, then we'll call it an episode. But for players ready to negotiate, I am willing to give Marcus May this four-year deal. So I'll try and offer this to him. And he will take it. So Marcus May will stay. I am going to let Jamison Crowder walk. Um, I'll try and bring back uh, Fado Casey on a three-year deal. And he will take it. I'm going to let LaMarcus Joyner go. I'll let Keelan Cole go as well. Thomas Morstead. Uh, I will offer him if he wants to stick around for one more season. He'll take it. Vinny Curry, we're going to let him walk. Tevin Coleman, going to let him walk. Morgan Moses, going to let him go. Braxton Berrios, don't care for him. And uh, I'll figure out, the, probably going to let these other guys go. Maybe I'll keep uh, Javelin Gaidry on the team, but the rest of these guys probably not going to return. All right, so I'm going to offer Javelin Gaidry here uh, a three-year, pretty cheap deal. He'll, he'll provide a lot of depth, and we could really train him over the next year or two to become a pretty uh, solid corner. Well, guys, we have reached the end of the season. Not the playoffs, but the, re the uh, regular season. Uh, as you can see at the bottom of your screen where it says my team ranks uh, The offense was one of the worst in the entire league. The defense was mediocre overall, which is to be expected But uh, no shockers here. We went 4-13. So we're gonna have maybe the first overall pick. I'm not sure on that yet um, but uh, We were terrible 4-13. That's to be expected. That's probably what's, what's gonna happen in real life uh, records kind of like that Um but let's go check out our uh, our player stats. Then we'll call it an episode and look ahead to the offseason. So Zach Wilson, 3,500 yards, 22 touchdowns, 15 INTs, uh, a 58% completion percentage. She was not very good at all with an 81 rating. Um, he definitely was terrible this season. Uh, rushing. Michael Carter averaged 3.2 on the ground, 12 touchdowns, 850 yards, uh, just below 50 per game, one fumble. Tevin Coleman, 3.7 per carry, one touchdown. Uh, clearly the running game uh, is not doing well either, so the offense as a whole has been terrible. Corey Davis might be the, the highlight of the offense. A uh, thousand yards, four touchdowns though, so need better uh, point production there. Jameson Crowder, 885 touchdowns. Tyler Croft, 763 touchdowns. Keelan Cole, 504. Uh, for the offensive line, who allowed the most sacks, it was George Fant with 12 sacks allowed in 17 games played. Makai Becton allowed nine. Connor Govern allowed four in 16 games played. Um, so clearly the right side is 
the right side and the center are, are, are the weakest. Lakai Bechtel will get better, obviously. I'm not worried about him. Um, for the defense, top tackler was, of course, CJ Mosley with 133 tackles and 7 tackles for loss. Blake Cashman, 105 tackles and 10 tackles for loss. Uh, our third string corner, Michael Carter, the second had 95 tackles. That's kind of concerning. Um, for sacks, we got 10 from Quentin Williams, six from John Franklin Myers, just three and a half from Shaq Lawson. Rankins had three. Pass rush definitely needs some work, but uh, Quentin Williams and Franklin Myers had promising seasons. Uh, interceptions, we got four from CJ Mosley, three from Blake Cashman, three from Marcus May, three from Javon Guidry, two from Bryce Hall, one from Carter, Ashton Davis, and Jamie and Sherwood. And for kicking, Matt Amendola went 23 for 27. Definitely uh, better than I thought. 85%. He had a, a long of uh, 57. Had two field goals blocked. Uh, missed three extra points, which were all blocked. So he didn't have a bad year, but I also did, did not extend him. To cap it all off, here's what the playoff picture looks like without us. In the AFC, the Raiders are the one seed. Wow. Uh, the Ravens are the two seed, the Bills the three, the Titans the four, the Chiefs the five, the Browns the six, and the Chargers the seven over in the A or over in the NFC. The Buccaneers got that first round bye. The Cowboys were the two seed, Cardinals the three, Packers the four, Vikings the five, uh, Seahawks the six, and Panthers the seven. The Rams curiously are not here that is interesting but that's your playoff picture we're not going to send the playoffs right now we're going to call it an episode with that being said i have not spent any staff points so far so we'll use those uh next episode i just wanted to introduce our team get some action here and then finish the season so next up uh, next episode we're gonna finish the playoffs do the entire offseason and look ahead towards our first real season with our team so that being said guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys look forward to the off season and uh until then thanks for watching please like and subscribe and check out my 2k series with the kansas uh, city scouts the expansion team and uh look ahead to uh more from the series as well so until then i'll see you guys in the next one take care